And welcome back to This Week in the Mohawk Valley. It is time for the Central New York Travel Show portion of today's program. And we say good morning to Kelly Blazowski from Oneida County Tourism. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Hey, Jim. Good. Good morning. Glad to be back. And we are in the month of October. And last week we had sort of a Halloween theme uh, guest, and we're going to continue in that vein on today's show. Absolutely. And a shout out to Sarah. Um, you know, she always uh, is able. We, we try to work our schedule. One of us is here. So uh, for helping while I was on the road. So, um, yes, this morning we have James Casper Cop here with us this Hello. morning. Hello. Good morning. Back. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me back. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, as Jim said, um, tis the month to be talking about this topic. So. It is. <laughs> this is the greatest yeah. month. I, I love this month. Yeah. Um, but I do have some bad news. Um, well, the Park After Dark ghost tours right. have been canceled this month. Right. Those have uh, will not be taking place at the Sylvan Beach Amusement Park. Correct. So, due to um, things out of your control. Correct. Uh, not and I'm heartbroken. It's like yeah. I broke up with a love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because but, that uh, was gaining some momentum and yes. definitely some interest. Yes. I put in some good yes. years there absolutely but the best part is um when i first started it in 2013 um i started the park after dark tours late mm -hmm. 2014 i met you mm -hmm. yeah and from there i learned about this thing called the haunted history trail right and yes. i'm like oh look at this yeah this absolutely great. so i was so happy to be a part of all of that mm -hmm. Um, as you know, I've been I've been to a few of these places on the Haunted History Trails. Right, yeah. And Stepped in and have helped us too. Yes, I was right. gonna I was gonna talk about that. Yeah. Um last year I actually did a uh, guided tour for Haunted History Trails. Right. And just to let you know what type of a guide I am, um I met I was supposed to meet the bus at a place called Hyde Hall. Yes, over in Cooperstown. And if anybody knows mm -hmm. anything about the ghost hunters or any paranormal, I read the email and I'm, I'm like, we're meeting where? Yes. <laughs> so I, I got there early and the bus was late. So I got <laughs> them all for you. <laughs> yes. So I got to know management there. We talked for a while and then we continued I actually asked I like can I videotape and mm -hmm. they hemmed in hot and but they let me um, but um, I was the bus pulled up the group got off they separated into their groups and no one knew me at the time so I was just this guy with a video camera that would kind of hang back and after the tw after we would go through a room I would actually try to say hey Okay, Jenny, can you move that, please, as I'm, you know, leaving? Because yeah. I'm investigating. I'm not going to go to Hyde Hall and not investigate. Right. <laughs> so people actually caught me doing it, so they kind of thought I was weird until I got on the bus, and I introduced yeah. myself, and uh, they are all like, so I... Any place I go, mm -hmm. I'm an investigator. Mm -hmm. I love to investigate. So yeah. um, I have... I found this place. Well, I didn't find it. Haunted History Trails found yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Shops at the finish line. Yes. And let me tell mm -hmm. you how that transpired. Um, last year, I, I, I told you about the uh, project with a band that I was working on. Right. And it's, t it's taken a whole year to do, and it's finally done. And we finished that CD at the finish line oh okay. the shops at the finish Great. line where else better to mm -hmm. finish something as the finish line so what the what the project is is i have um joined a band not as a band member but we actually went around to haunted locations and they recorded their cd in haunted locations mm -hmm. and i joined them as their investigator and i would actually take the people or band members investigating while other band members worked on their cd mm -hmm. well it's finally complete um the band's called avius me if you want to go to aviusme.com and the cd will be available in november mm -hmm. so we showed up at the finish line and um met sue sue's a wonderful person yeah. Yeah. she gave us a tour around the place the band set up meanwhile i went up and to an area where supposedly a grumpy old man lingers. Right. <laughs> so one of the claims is uh, you, you get 
touchy-feely down in the bar area. You, people claim that they feel people dancing around them when music's playing. And if you sit in a certain chair, you feel like somebody put their head on your shoulder. Those are some of the claims. Right. So as I'm up in the area uh, with the grumpy man, I'm like, hey, my name is James. I really want to be your friend. I don't think you're grumpy. You can never have too many friends. Well, as soon as I said that, I'm holding my video camera on a tripod, and I'm using it as a unipod with one leg longer than the other for better movement, and I feel something rubbing my hand. And I didn't have my flashlight at the time. Uh, what kind of investigator am I? But, and I'm like, oh, I, I feel something. And it c continued to rub my hand. So I'm like, guys, anybody got a flashlight? Is there a spider on me? So I put my hand out. And as soon as I put my hand out, it started feeling like somebody was tickling the underarm of my forearm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never felt anything like that in the 10 years of this paranormal investigation um, that before so and, and that's not over Pretty it's, it's not over yeah so a couple days later I go back because there was a concert in Utica and we decided to park in that parking lot because mm -hmm. we could walk to this concert and I'm like said to my friend I'm like hey let's stop in and have a drink because at the shops mm -hmm. right at yeah, they Utica Brews at Utica Brews right so I walk up there and I try to get in and it's closed they're not open on wednesdays and i did not know that they're open thursday through sundays mm -hmm. so i was kind of like oh darn it so as i'm walking down the steps i get a notification on my facebook page stating that you checked in at the finish line please write a review which is totally understandable the day before i did tag them because i was just there and i talked about my experience <laughs> And I just thought it was kind of weird that as I was walking down the steps, I got that. Yeah. Kind of thing. So we went into the concert. About an hour later, I get another, another notification on Facebook that just shows the picture of the shops at the finish line that says nothing. Hmm. There's no tag to it. There, there's nothing. <laughs> Wow. So I think I made some friends there. Yeah. So um, I contacted Sue, and I told her about it, and I said, hey, look, you know, I think we need to bring our fellow Casper cops in this place and see if we can come up with some some good evidence. Yeah. So you're going to do that on the 27th. On the 27th. You set the date, yes. and, and you're going to do set it. set the date. Um, we're still working out the logistics and stuff, but um, what, we're gonna, what I think we're going to do is... Um, we're going to run tours maybe every hour. I mean, it didn't take me long to have my experience. Right. And plus, the bar itself is mm -hmm. haunted as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's free. Go have a drink. Mm -hmm. um, if you get any experience, let me know. Um, and again, take pictures. I'm a big fan of taking pictures. Mm -hmm. You never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to do then is uh, we'll go up into the second floor, possibly the third floor, and down in the basement. Mm -hmm. And be ready to ghost hunt okay. to, to conduct an investigation. And so um, the 27th, and what time? Um, it probably will start at 7 Okay. and run till close. Okay. And then um, usually, I know with your other tours, you had a, a maximum num number of people that yes. you opened these up to. Yep. So what's your maximum? Six. Six, Six people. Six people so. per okay. Uh, per tour on the hour. Okay. On the hour. Yes. Okay. Yes. Six and people on the hour. Again, if you got recorders, cameras, mm -hmm. bring them because that's what we're there for. Okay. And now your website is still up it's and It's still up and running. Current. It's hauntedsylvanbeach.com. Mm -hmm. um, it will be, I'll always have hauntedsylvanbeach.com. That's my love. Right. Um, but um, the information for this. Information will find. all be there. Right. And how to yes. reserve your spot. So yep. pick which hour that you want to participate. Yep. Get your group of friends together and yes. contact James because it sounds like it's going to be an interesting evening. Yes. And yeah. also um, Hyde Hall is also doing candlelight um, tours. Uh, it's in Cooperstown. It's mm -hmm. not too far. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll contact them because I have a video of... I interviewed um, some management there. Um, John did it against his will, but I forced him to do it. And um, get participation. He, that's right. Um, plus, I, I have my. They gave me my own 
tour through the mm -hmm. place, so mm -hmm. that video should all be up soon. Well, they are an active participant with the Haunted History the, uh, yes, Trail. Yes, so, they are. Yes. And again, if you get a chance to go to the mm -hmm. the Candlelit Tours, mm -hmm. I'd strongly recommend it. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, we've referenced Haunted History Tours, um, uh, the Haunted History Trail, excuse me. Um, Oneida County Tourism is a, a partner with yep. the Haunted History Trail of New York State. And um, you can go to hauntedhistorytrail.com for information uh, across upstate New York uh, participants. I believe the program is up to somewhere close to 30 counties now wow. that are participating. So there is a lot of opportunity uh, and things to find uh, that go bump in the night and make you think, what was that? So, so we need <laughs> more Casper cops. Yeah. So come so, on, you know, it's join been, my team. Yeah, it's been a, a, a wildly successful program for the past uh, few years that we've been a partner with. Um, it just kind of organically came together. Yes. And you know those are always the best kinds of programs anyway, and and the um, best you know the best great. part is I would say ninety five percent of the people that took the tours um, they've never ghost hunted before and my, I actually so would questionable we, yeah, yeah. They, but skepticism there <laughs> my point is uh, you, you know you can conduct an investigation and have fun uh -huh. and that's my point I, I like to have fun yeah. um, sometimes you know you're in a kind of a well, nervous that's what situation people are looking for. Right. right is to right. have a good time Just to have yeah. fun something different and absolutely yeah, right. so yeah so again hauntedsylvanbeach.com yep your next upcoming event is October 27th at and that the will be shops at yep. the finish line Utica Brews Utica. Yeah. one of the rules that uh, most paranormal groups uh, one of the top five rules is no consuming alcohol mm -hmm. that's why I'm going to have my first event at a bar <laughs> <laughs> so come on out yeah absolutely well thank you james thanks for being a partner with us thank you and i hope to continue to work with you throughout the rest absolutely. of the, the year and beyond yeah very good thanks